Hi, thank you for choosing this video to watch. I promise you the thumbnail was not clickbait and I will actually show you the returns I made and how I made them. Now, before we get started, I have two basic questions to tell you that I'm going to answer in this video. First, why to invest in foreign stocks? And second, how, right? I will show you how later on, but first I'll come to why. Before that, many of you have been requesting me to make my videos in Hindi. I'm sorry, friends, I'm not going to do that. Not because I despise Hindi, I'm pretty fluent in it. The problem here is most of us are not fluent in English and it is a requirement everywhere. It's not a measure of intelligence or something, but it's good if you can learn English. Also try to watch these videos so that you can understand how to have an Indian English accent that is not a bad sounding accent. My accent is not British or American, it is Indian. I'm still fluent in English. So go on, keep watching. And if you think the speed is fast, you can slow down the speed and you can do it vice versa if you think the speed is slow. So first question, why should you invest in foreign stocks? Now, India as an economy is growing, right? We all know we are not at par with financial literacy with other developed nations. In the US, it might be close to 50%. In, in India, it's not even 15%. It must be even lesser than 10% if I'm not wrong. Now, what happens when this is the case? When this happens, people mostly invest just using recommendations, tips from investment banks or brokers or some good agencies. The problem with that is most of us do not make our own decisions and market is driven by news and sentiment more than it is driven by value. Now, if you go to the US, another factor is there's algorithmic trading to a very great extent there. In India, it is still coming up. We don't have most of our traders going into algorithmic trading. It is still a new topic in India. What is the importance? If you go to Google and if you check for share price of Apple or Microsoft or some US company, you will find Google will itself show you what is the next likely movement. You will not see that in most Indian stocks. That's, the, that's basically my point. So there's going to be volatility for sure, but along with that, you'll also benefit from foreign exchange gains because in the end, depreciation of Indian currency against US dollar is inevitable unless we overtake them in terms of GDP and our currency is in higher demand than US dollar, right? Which is not going to happen at least in the next 10 to 15 or 20 years. I don't see that happening. This gain, is going to remove any processing fees that you have for the transaction that you make into the DMAT account. Now, going from here to how to invest in foreign stocks. Now, there's an application that I personally use that I feel good with is Webull. I will show you the interface in a while, but let me tell you what the prerequisites are. Now, the basic thing that you have to do when you have trade in any country is to have a brokerage account. It could be any broker. Earlier, you had to actually go to a physical person known as a broker, but right now it's done digitally. Same as for Webull. So what you have to basically do is when you go and register on Webull, you will have to fill in the details and the KYC that is required for your account to be verified. When that happens, you'll have to deposit money from your bank through foreign remittance. Now, this can be done through net banking, but when I tried it, it was forbidden because the platform also happens to trade in cryptocurrency. So it was forbidden at that time. And, and then I had to go ahead and go to my bank and physically go there and deposit around 30,000 Indian rupees. That is what I did just to check out how the platform works. And I had deposited around 392 or $394. And that was turned into around $500. So I'm going to the app store and I'm just going to type Webull. This is the name and this is the application. I already have it installed. I'm going to open it. Now there's watch lists that I've added. There are markets, India, US, global, cryptos, everything. You can track a lot of stuff here and get to know a lot of data. So first let me show you how and what kind of data you get. So let's say I go to McDonald's. Here is a chart I get, a quick chart. For all these time frames, I get any quotes that are there. 
this is useful for traders and also some analysts now you go to news section you're going to get a lot of news here again analysis is a good section too it shows you what kind of ratings are there by analysts by strong buy hold underperform sell so again press releases financials so you get to know a lot of data here on webull itself and the most important feature that i found was if you go to united states markets there's something called as a screener here and ipo screener here and earnings and these kind of things here i've already made a video on how you can use webull and it is in this video right now that i'm going to link to another video so you can watch that video where i have shown webull to be a great tool to invest you'll find out much more over there so let me show you my portfolio so the current value is 498 dollars and i'll show you what all deposits and uh, trading i made so i'll go to funds here and you will see every single transaction i made yeah so the first was cash deposit on 6th of march I deposited around three ninety three dollars, and you can see after that I only started investing on sixth of August. So five months I was doing nothing. And then you can see after that there has not been a single cash deposit. Only dividends, interests, trading, fees. You know these kind of things happening, and my total value right now is around five hundred dollars. Right, so you can find that return see how much it is for six months it is not a bad return now let's come to how i deposit money so i'll go to more account details I go down i can deposit you can see this option here called deposit i went there now for ach if you're a u.s resident it is there but for most of us it's going to be wire transfer so they've given instructions okay this is what you need to check go to your bank and you have to show them this that is it nothing else so when transfer is completed i have to notify webull by telling them what all bank name details where everything is coming from okay so that they also can keep a track and i got that money deposited in my account as and when i wanted it took around seven days so now let's get back and see what else we have to talk about so now that you've seen the interface you know what it looks like so what i did when i wanted to invest was first value the entities correctly and i used damodaran spreadsheets provided by professor asmod damodaran on the website that i'm going to link below now aswad damodaran for your information if you don't know is regarded as a dean of valuation he has some really nice lectures and also a lot of content online so go check it out and uh, i use one of his spreadsheets now these are complicated spreadsheets when you go and use them for the first time it took me around four or five valuations or not let's not say four or five around three valuations being done with the sheet to fully grasp how it works so how i did it i will show you the valuations later on but for now what you need to know is i actually went ahead and valued these stocks and found out that apple or you know these kind of stocks that i invested in that i i think showed you right now would definitely be a good, very good investment because i found out that they were undervalued and i also understood the business model so i knew that this is going to grow anyway in the future and they must be undervalued because of certain reasons market showed correction and it went up now i invested on 6th of august which is after the pandemic so i mostly not did not have any gains and that is definitely not an, a bull run or something like that so you can definitely understand that this most of this gain or most of these gains are made solely using valuations so thank you for watching this video this is about how you can invest in foreign stocks and why you should do it at the same time, I would appreciate if you would leave a like and comment something that you want to know on this video. Thank you for watching. This is Wealth Workout. See you next time. Peace out.